My name is uh, Ivan Ho. I'm the chairman of DAP Taman Gambira branch, former chairman for the Clank Parliamentary Liaison Committee or Clank PLC, and a former councillor or Ali Matlis for Matlis Perbandaran Sepang and Matlis Perbandaran Klang. The 13th National General Election, Atau Pru 13, is around the corner. But we, the Selangor grassroots members, feel sad and disappointed as the DAP Selangor Election Committee is not functioning or seem to be functioning. Till this moment, the selection of candidates is not transparent. So with this, we uh, hope the uh, CEC leaders and the State Election Committee can seriously take into consideration the grassroots views in this matter. Because uh, election through 13 is a do or die battle. We all know it's a do or die battle. Even for Barisan, it's a do or die battle. What more for Pakatan? So choose with great care. So the grassroots sentiment is that these are the factors which the leaders should take into account. Not any Tom, T and Harry. Or parachute candidates drop from the sky, <coughs> come into the constituency, stand for election, but not accepted by the locals. The locals want local candidates. So choose from the local who are qualified. There are so many qualified, competent local leaders now in the party. Why must you parachute a candidate from outside? And priority should be given to the state committee, as I said in my first statement. The state committee are the ones elected by the members. Telah dipilih. Bukan dilantik, telah dipilih. Dipilih oleh ahli-ahli parti. Bermakna mereka disukai oleh ahli-ahli. Sebab itu mereka dipilih. So kalau mereka menyandang jawatan negeri selama, jawatan kuasa negeri selama, first option atau priority should be given to them to contest in the election unless unless they are tainted bad records or they decline the seat or they are not performing as stated in my press statement or not winnable uh, because now the key word in this election is boleh menang atau tak boleh menang winnable or not winnable the end point Dato' Sri Najib winnable candidates that is his crime word untuk Barisan Nasional so Pakatan pun mesti letak winnable candidates kalau tidak winnable what is the point you're wasting people's wasting the people's time so if the state elected committee is not winnable don't put them there then you go down to the next category of candidate that is the Parliamentary Liaison Committee who are also elected members elected from the grassroots, from the branches daripada cawan-cawan mereka nanti jawatan kuasa perhubungan parlimen that is the, kalau kita boleh beri example ya macam bahagian lah bahagian Kelang, bahagian Syalam, bahagian Petani Jaya macam itu so kalau tak ada yang winnable Pilihlah daripada ketua cawangan Local branch leaders Semua saya letak, uh, letak di dalam press statement Local branch leaders pun ada yang winnable So don't overlook all these people So the Our leaders, the CEC leaders We plead with them, we, all, we implore them Kita minta supaya kriteria ini Dipatuhi Iaitu kriteria CAT Competency, accountability, transparency, principles. So you go, you go, go back to the past record. Most of the candidates from Crank are from uh, outside Crank. But those days, because uh, most of the Crank members, they are not interested in contesting. That's why we accept uh, uh, candidate outside Crank. But this general election is different. This general election crank itself, we got locals, uh, leaders uh, who are professional, who are willing to serve the people in their own area and who wish to contest in crank uh, state seat. So with this, the party leaders have to consider uh, the, the, the aspiration of the 
uh, local, the, the grassroots. Because in the past, we got candidate outside clan. In the past, they lost the election, disappeared totally. Never come back and serve the, the, the people. But said to say that 2008, when DAP won these two seats, people thought, okay, first time DAP uh, uh, winning these two seats. They hope that the DAP will provide better services than Pakistan National. But to the disappointment, the two don't, the two other are non-performing. So the people in these two areas, they are not satisfied. Because most of the grassroots want local candidates. It happens all over Samoa, not only in Glen. I can tell you it's happening all over Samoa. We want locals. So dissatisfaction and unhappiness will lead to disunity. That's all I can say.